Hi everyone, I just got you know access to GPT-4 API. So I was on a wait list and I just recently got uh, this particular email and I thought of showing you know GPT-4 power by using some kind of a use case. So we're going to perform some use case here. So what is the use case? Uh, we're going to extract information or entities from this particular invoice and we could even ask questions to get answer. For example, we can ask you know how many units uh, we sold for a particular service or we might ask you know what is the total amount uh, in, inside this particular invoice so that is some kind of use case that i want to take and then we can compare gpt4 versus you know uh, gpt3 kind of uh, output so as we know that we're going to you know perform this kind of use case so we will need some ocr technique right we need a text to be extracted from this image so that we can use that text and pass to GPT-4 or GPT-3 so that we can, you know, extract entities, we can ask the question, right? So that's what uh, we're going to do today. Uh, we're going to show you how to process invoices. And this is very popular use case nowadays, you know, companies are doing. So let's uh, do this thing. So if you're not familiar with Amazon Text Track, then don't worry. I will be covering whatever the basic stuff what we, we will need in this tutorial. But I will encourage you to go and watch my, you know, Amazon Textract tutorial where I have explained what is Amazon Textract and how we can use it for different, you know, uh, use cases what we have. So that's what we're going to do. So let's do one thing, you know. Uh, so we're going to require OpenAI first of all, and we're going to require a Bo2.3 library. This is for the Amazon Textract uh, thing. And then, you know, I will be having my OpenAI key. And this is how we connect to any Amazon, let's say, service using Go to 3 client or a Go to 3 API. So we mention the name of the service that we want to connect. And then usually service will be in a particular region. And this is the important thing, your access key and your secret key. So if you create account in AWS, you will get your access key and secret key that you know you can use to access those services programmatically. So that's what we're going to, uh, you know, uh, use. So let's, you know, run this uh, sale let's run this thing we got this client and you know we're going to use the same image what you see here because we want to process this image and pass to gpt4 so let's you know uh, do that thing so we are using let's say this uh, pi library and we can open image here and we can see in the notebook what is that particular image actually so this is actually that image Maybe I will uh, usually take this reference because once we scroll down, I don't want to come back here and uh, again and again, right? So this is the image what you see here that we're going to use. So when you pass this image to a Textract service or any, let's say, OCR service, uh, so we're going to, you know, take the bytes from this particular, uh, you know, image and we're going to pass. So you're going to open that particular image, you know, uh, you read it in a binary and then we create the byte array and we're going to simply pass this image as a byte array to the OCR service, which is this text rack. So we're going to call its method called detect document text. That is the method this text rack has. And it takes a document that we want to process. And the document has a key, let's say bytes, and we pass actual byte array that what we have. And once we pass this image to the, you know, OCR service here at text rack, we will get some response and we can see what kind of response we get. So you could see we got a lot of things from the, you know, um, this text rack services. We don't need to go, you know, all these things I will be telling, you know, we care only about the text present in that image, right? So no need to worry about all these things. So let's just, you know, uh, clear this output. Now let's see, this particular response actually had a lot of, you know, blocks of information they have detected. Now what those blocks of information, okay, I might uh, maybe, you know, want to show you. Uh, again here for example you see there are a lot of things there will be a blocks inside it just to show you so that you know that particular key is present there so these are the blocks actually so the page is one block line there are words and all this thing right there are some line blocks so it can detect certain lines and those will be you know mark as the line blocks so we are interested in those line box because we want to collect that particular you know text again let's not get into this because that's not the objective of the video so what we do actually, we know that the response is going to have a lot of blocks and we care about the blocks which are marked as a line and then we are, you know, simply collecting all those texts associated with those blocks and putting in this single big string and we can see exactly what is that big string. Now you could see, you know, we got this whole 
invoice this particular all the text present here in the form of a big string and you could see we are lost all the formatting you could see nicely there are tables and all these things structured but in the OCR text we have lost all this formatting and we just have one single big string and that is the interesting thing we're going to pass this single long string to GPT-3 or let's say GPT-4 and then we're going to see whether GPT-3 is able to extract the structured information from it and that's the typical use case you know uh, we have in the document processing so first let's try with the GPT-3 right now up to this point forget whether you know about the text rect or not from this point we can start let's say we have some text and we want to pass it to gpt3 and extract certain entities from it so we write very basic prompt we say that you know extract entities and their values so here entities means uh, usually if you are not familiar with entity means anything that you know like a company name is an entity or let's say the person name is an entity the product is an entity so these all information or even the date invoice number these are entities that we can extract and then as per your business use case you can manipulate these entities right so that's what uh, you can do with it so let's see how we can extract those entities so we have a simple prompt say that hey we're going to provide you OCR text and I want entities as a key value pair separated by new line and then we pass that text which is nothing but our OCR text and then we prompt it to you know generate entities so it knows that now it needs to generate the entities so this is how typical our prompt is going to look like this is what we're going to send you know uh, gpt3 and gpt4 so let's first send it to you know gpt3 so this is our typical gpt3 you know call which is our completion api and completion endpoint here is the model which is latest model is text i mean say let's say 003 and we're going to pass our prompt which is this one and let's say what we got in the response So ideally we are expecting you know those entities extracted wow so you could see uh, we got those entities extracted uh, you know each separate line so we could see company name is there it has extracted k company it has extracted invoice number as this particular value the name is a sample invoice maybe this is the name associated with the invoice actually and okay these are all even the product services let's compare it uh, with this what we have right okay so uh, it has name okay this is something interesting we just saw right let's see what it extracted company name it has extracted k company which is uh, correct or not is this the same invoice uh, yes it is the same invoice right so what did it extracted it says the k company maybe it is the ocr text that is the you know could be issue yeah it's because the ocr says it is a k company that is uh, fine because uh, that's what the OCR text is giving. So we have to judge it at per the OCR text. So OCR text has a date. It says K company, name, sample, invoice, billing information, and all these things. Yeah, here we do have a ABC company actually mentioned. So not sure why this K company came. Am I missing something here? Okay, anyway, let's go and see what entities we got exactly here. So we got this product information got extracted from the table. Billing information name. Okay, here it mentioned actually shipping information name. Yeah, that may be the correct. Yes, billing information and the shipping information it has extracted differently. I just wondering from where did we got this K company? Maybe I'm, or is this something got extracted out of it? Anyway, so it is able to extract this billing and shipping information. So let's see this is how it extracted now let's compare it with the gpt4 actually and see what happens so this is what gpt3 has extracted and uh, you know that the gpt4 is actually a chat model which is the chat completion model and not this right but it is still going to perform better than gpt3 on a normal task also so to do the chat thing we need to uh, you know pass kind of a chat or a conversational history again i had made a video on you know chat gpt api where i have explained actually all these things you know how to structure this messages different roles and all these things so in base it is simple like this whatever instruction we want to give it to the you know let's say model a chat completion model in this case gpt4 we have to put it as a role as a system so that is the instruction this is like a character building 
this all instruction we can get and then all the information that we want to pass as a user we can ask it as a user so role as a user this is what information we want to give so here what we give we give an instruction that we want to extract the entities and then we also provided the ocr text from it it can extract and it is the same instruction giving to gpt4 instead of let's say gpt3 and let's see whether is there any difference in the terms of because it is the same ocr text both are going to process okay we got information both are saying the company name is a k company i think that ocr text has that information k company here name is sample and why is the billing name is abc company how should we compare it okay you see it is more structured compared to what we got here or what product and services one six product and services one is this product services product services one two one two this is what we got here and here why does it look clean compared to that one product and services one okay it has used that information only one so it is like product and services one name is this particular thing let me see uh, product and services one yeah this this sync and then all its information may be down 202 let's see this information yes that you know quantity of one then unit price for this one and this is the total of this particular thing same thing i think uh, you know it just uh, using lace words and seems to be more structured compared to what we got here and again this is the second service this is the third service and okay yeah so not much difference actually in terms of you know uh, do you see this billing information difference information city state and all these things shipping name john smith shipping address has been you know extracted like this like a one single entity big address billing address is also extracted like this so definitely it seems more structured but again what depends on how you want it here they separated everything city state address here it pick up that whole thing as a one big address this is how you know it is able to structure so you see even the ocr text don't have any formatting you know but still gpt3 or even gpt4 are able to extract those things in a structured manner for us actually and that is the uh, you know uh, beauty of this whole models that you know even the ocr text which even hard for us as a humans to go and see what exactly that structured mean but these models are so powerful that it can extract the structured information and now we can ask certain question also not just extracting or maybe we want to tell exactly the model what entities we are interested so instead of you know saying uh, extract those all entities we might say that extract the company name and the invoice number that's the only two entities we care about and it will extract only let's say gpt4 will extract only those two entities because that's what we care about the company name abc company and so here when we ask extract company name it says abc company here which is correct and what it uh, took it you know initially company it is says k company okay here billing name it says abc company all uh, this is, so it's always better to tell exactly what we want and it will be much more better if you could give an example so here we could have, we could have given an example saying that hey if this is the you know uh, ocr text then this is the expected output so here we could actually put some example so if you could see here here we uh, in the chat completion we have we have shown how to put an example so we had a user assistant user some kind of a conversation happening so here also we could have put an example we could have a sample ocr text and entities that we want you know expected entities from it so that it knows how to extract but even without giving an example it is already doing a good job actually so now let's ask some question we could even ask question by changing the instruction saying that you know you are an ai assistant who helps you know answer questions based on the ocr text provided and now here you know we give that instruction we give our ocr text but now we want to ask a specific question 
we want to say you know what is the total order or maybe you know what is the total invoice value whatever we could ask actually and now it is saying that the total order amount is 425 which is correct 425 we can ask you know you know how many units sold for service one which is actually service one is this we could see it has sold uh, two quantity actually and it is say that the service one which is actually for the sink sold two units so it's doing a pretty good job actually you know you can have this invoices you can ask questions against it and you know this is a typical use case now you don't need to be like you know asking this one one uh, you know questions here you could actually have a conversation so if you look at my chat gpt completions video i have shown actually to have that conversation like you know and not just sending this uh, request so here i have shown it actually uh, running as kind of a conversation thing you know if you put uh, some ui on top of it so you can literally upload an invoice and then ask question against that invoice you know continuously that's what we could do so this is what the typical use case not just related to gpt4 you can think of this is how we're going to use these large language models to extract that structured information from this uh, you know documents by taking first ocr text and even we can even ask question answers so this right uh, i am going to share this particular uh, you know notebook with you so that you can try and this two video links also i will put in the description so anyone is interested to know about more about text tract so that you can you know apply it to whatever your business use case then you can free to uh, go and watch right thank you very much